Hi, and what's going on everybody? It's been some time before my last video because I was so busy. So, as you might know or might not know, uh, Fios is in now beta, in beta state and you can download it and use it. And in this tutorial, we are going to install Fios on a virtual machine. It's relatively easy and I want to cut this video short, therefore I won't explain everything. Uh, afterwards, I am going to make some new videos about how to configure it, how to make your own customization, how to change colors, etc. So now let's continue. So this is the initial uh, welcome screen. Uh, please try the first one and if it doesn't work, try the other ones. Try the second one last. Uh, it will probably work. So I'll just go on and select the first one for now. Uh, by the way, Plymouth hook is now removed, but it is going to come uh, later on with new support, a new grub probably. I am trying to fork Debian's grub to Arch Linux, because I think it's better than normal Arch Linux default grub. Maybe on a later video I'll explain why. So yeah, so this is our welcome screen. As you can see, you have some options here. If you are using Wi-Fi, please connect to internet. But actually, I don't prefer the online installer. You can install packages from the online installer, but I don't prefer to use it because it could cause some issues. I didn't write the installer, I'm just using Calamares and it has some problems. Please use the offline installer. Afterwards, you can download anything you want with Pacman. It's relatively easy, just one simple command. So I'll just go on with the offline installer now. Yeah, e also in offline installer, you even don't need to refresh the pack numbers. So this is the initial screen of Calamares. I'll just go on and continue next. So Istanbul is correct. And as you can see in the bottom, the system language is English, but it says that it's Antigua and Barboda. So this is wrong. This is a Calamares bug. Uh, maybe they've patched it, I don't know. But please choose, it, click change and change your uh, language options. So I'll just go with English and UTF-8. This one too. Yeah, cool. So just choose your keyboard, keyboard layout. Mine is default. English layout, US layout. And if you have uh, one more operating system in your current computer, there should be a new option like install alongside. And if you don't know about manual partitioning or if you just want to use it, just use the uh, other option which will install alongside your operating system. Uh, if you want to manual part partition it and know how partitions work, you can just choose it. I'll just go on with the erase disk option, but install alongside option is just relatively the same as erase disk option. Uh, for now, I don't prefer to encrypt the system. I'm trying to enhance it. If you want, you can do it, but uh, it's your call. I don't prefer to use it for now. Now let's enter our credentials. And let's click next. So this is the summary as you can see after we are going to have uh, 300 megabytes of FP partition which is part of this key and grub will be in here and our operating system will have a size of 15 gigabytes. And now let's click install. Uh, Alright, so let me just show you some tips while it is installing. I will probably cut the video and go back online again in a few minutes. So just right click to open this uh, pop-up menu, JK menu. You can choose applications from here or I don't know, open terminals from here, uh, whatever you like. Uh, you can right click on this icon to choose your layout. So actually let me just show some different layouts. Let's open some things. Oops, sorry. Let's open this too. If you right click here, you can change the layout as however you like. I think I just use two of them, but it's just preference. Just try them and you'll just get the hang of it. Um, this icon here is the settings icon. If you click it, it will open up a terminal application and there are some guides and customization rules here. So if you want to check out how the keys work, click on F2 and as you can see key binding and it's keys here so alt plus left click and action just read it don't try to remember them all at once you'll just get used to it time by time don't try to force it whenever you forget something just go on here and check it 
Uh, by the way, DWM is going to have a better version. Actually, it's released now, and you can change all of the key bindings, whatever you like, all of the color schemes, all of the sizes of status bar, etc. If you want to try it, check out my GitHub, please. And in here, there are some options. I'm not going to explain all of them, but just for a showcase, let me just show you. So if you hit Windows and Backspace, it will open the uh, power system menu. And also Windows plus Escape works too. And in here, if you want, you can change its options. So let me just show it. For example, now the color scheme is Catpuchin. Let's use Cyberpunk. If you hit it again, it will automatically change colors. And you can change its types from here too. For example, let's use Type 4 for now. If you hit it again, it will automatically change the menu again too. Just try them. Choose whatever you like, whatever you prefer. It's just preference actually. And all of them has explanations. I think I write them briefly. If you don't understand anything or if something confuses you, feel free to reach me on Discord. And uh, I write the updates in Discord, so please join our Discord channel to get the latest features and latest updates. You can choose your grub and SDDM gives from here too. Also, you can make your own status bar. Uh, for example, let's just click it. I don't know. Let's put clock, CPU load maybe, and I don't know, memory and internet maybe volume two. If you hit stop, it will automatically update your status bar to newest configurations. And the F4 is Picom animation section. I'm not going to explain it in this video. I'm just going to make a new video about it, but just go on and tweak with the settings. You will understand it. Everything has uh, explanations in it. For example, open window animation means opening window animation as its name. So closing window animation, animation for prep tag, animation for next tag for you. How do they come? How do they go? When you change text, change your desktop. And if you have a good computer, or I don't know, just not legacy hardware, please uh, click the experimental backends option. It's much, much better than the original one, but some older hardware tends to have issues with this, and it is disabled by default. You can open it from clicking it, or just pressing enter. All right, so now it's installing, guys. Uh, I will pause the video now, and let's continue after the installation. Um, actually, uh, one more thing, so you need to check the map pages too, uh, please read them, it have uh, explanations for every script, for example, bookmark script, uh, how to change your background, how to pin an application, how to choose themes, and as well as some system configuration scripts like how to make, update your graph configuration, how to update your kernel configuration, updating mirrors, etc. And by the way, the most important one here is this PyApp script. Uh, since you are installing this with ISO, your dot files probably will be out of date. And after the installation, please remember to write this command. This will update your dot files to latest and check out to a new branch. All right, see you in a bit, guys. Bye bye. So I'm back. Let's continue. So let's restart our computer now. Cool. So now we are going to change our grub and SDDM team, then finish the video for now. So let's click Files Linux now. So this is the base SDDM. We are going to change it to something cool. Um, by the way, this legginess. Uh, because of issues because of the virtual machine. If you install it on a normal computer, it will be much, much faster. And as you can see on idle, it literally uses no RAM actually. If you install a desktop environment like GNOME, it will be much higher than this. It will be like one or two gigabytes, I don't know. Cool, so as I said before, let's update our dot files first. Nice. Um, so, for example, uh, let's click this icon, and if you go to options, in grab choose dim, as you can see, there are two dims here, Zenism dim and dark matter dim, and in SDDM, we have two dims again, uh, it to dim and simplicity. Simplicity is uh, 
gaming by default. This Ictodim is actually pretty nice, um, but it has some issues. It installs lots of unnecessary software like Plasma Workspace, but it has animated uh, login screen. Actually, let's try it. Uh, it looks cool, actually. So, sudo pacman sy. Uh, actually, I don't know, we don't need to update our system now. Let's install that it to team and let's install it simple drop team. Let's install Zanism for now. Nice. So I think this will take some time because as I said that it to team installs a lot of unnecessary software. Um so actually let me just show you something while it is installing them. Actually let's try to change our animation options, okay? So for example, uh, let's change animation speed in tag to 50 for now to be able to understand how the animations work. Right. Actually, this is still fast. Let's check out Picon for now. Oops, and now we will install lots of unnecessary stuff. So yeah, it's my bad, sorry. It should be like this. Cool. Alright, so as you can see, for example, in anim speed in tech, uh, by the way, if you update your system, all of these will work much, much correctly. For example, uh, this is the zoom animation for open window, okay? Let's try to change it. For example, let's use, I don't know, let's use squeeze instead of zoom. And after that, let's save our changes. Oops, it's gone again, why? Let's check it again. Yeah, so that's unnecessary. All right, so as you can see, for example, this is the squeeze animation. Uh, you can choose lots of animations from there, uh, whatever you want, whatever you prefer, actually. Uh, just tweak with these settings. I will make an enhanced video about how to configure all of this. And I want to cut this video short. Also, as a side note, I don't know if I said it, but I think I probably said it. If you have a new computer, please select the experimental backends option. It's important. So what else? Uh, you can write man dwm to check the key bindings instead of the terminal window, uh, as well as, as I've said before, please read the menu pages, man fios, to be able to read all of this. And for example, uh, by default, it uses Google Chromium as the browser. If you want to change your browser, uh, open the .z profile in your home directory and write something like this. For example, export browser equals Firefox. If you write it like this, it will automatically change your browser to Firefox uh, after logout and login. So this is still taking some time. <coughs> Actually, let's just wait it. All right, cool. So I think I'll just hold the video for now because it's generating our init ramps, our kernel images right now. It could take some time. Oops, actually it finished. All right, cool. So now let's change our STDM and drop team. Let's first change STDM. So it's it to now. Let's change our wrap team to. Let's change it to Zenism. Cool. Now. Let's reboot, and after that, we are finishing the installation video. Nice. So this is an example uh, grab configuration. Uh, there are two teams currently, but there will be more coming afterwards. Let's go to FIOS Linux now, and let's check out STDM now. To confirm if it is changed. Yeah, nice. So as you can see, it's something cool. It has animated GIFs. Let's enter it now. And after the installation, please update your system. It should be, there should be a lot of updates. Let's check it actually. What? That's weird. Probably Calamores automatically updated our system. Cool. So uh, even if you use an offline installer, Calamores probably updates everything in your system. That's pretty nice. 
Uh, Alright, so I think we can shut our video now. Yeah. So, uh, this is the installation guide video. Afterwards, I'm going to make some of the newest releases. Actually, I can show you the PDWM actually. Actually, let me just show it to you. Afterwards, we can finish. So, you need to install two packages to get beta DWM. Yes, yes. Cool. Now, if you write pw pdwm get it will automatically write the default settings. And if you write pwm show buttons, you you sh could see the button options here. And if you write, for example, pdwm s, I don't know, for example, appearance, you can see fonts and border sizes from here. Actually, let's just try to change something. Afterwards, we are going to finish the video. For example, pdwm change upper. For example, let's change our border pixel to 30. It doesn't make sense, but we are just trying stuff here. Let's change our font to, let's change our font to, I don't know, for example, Sophia Pro. And let's give it 30 size. Actually, let's change our bar size to, so it is going to be user bar height. Let's make it 80. After that, you build your DWM. And after the first installation, you even don't need to do this. So that is weird. It didn't update. I'm not sure why this is not working. Uh, please let me just check it by guys. Um, it is probably because of the uninstalled packages, probably. Yeah, so actually, this one is here too. And border pixel and everything is changed too. So it should probably work. Why isn't it working? Uh, it is probably because we need to reboot to see the changes for now. Um, because this beta version automatically deletes the other version and to be able to see the changes just for the first time you need to reboot your computer which i'm not going to include in this video but uh, after the first installation uh, it will automatically update your dwm configurations to the newest settings guys it's relatively easy actually you can check out my reddit i have a post in there as a showcase example so this will be the installation video guys see you in a later video take care guys bye bye